InCrowd is a partnership project developing a network of rural pubs and commissioning artists and performers to make work specifically for new audiences that would normally not see that work. It's live performance, it's stand-up, it's a bit of a mix of comedy, spoken word, a bit of variety. Really simple, low-key, small performance space, nothing over the top in terms of lighting, sound. So performances that have been written specifically to be delivered in pubs. Once we got that through to people in terms of what that offer was, actually then selling the shows was really quite easy. Bringing live performance to a pub where there's 30 people, how intimate, you would never get something that intimate in even in the smallest of theatres, in the smallest of towns. And without some like in crowd, they just wouldn't happen. It was entertaining, it was moving, a uh, really polished performance, a polished performer. Traditional rural touring models are about touring to village halls and community centres and really we wanted to establish a new network for a model of spoken word and poetry. The in-crowd touring has been taking me to places I don't often normally go. I mean, I've done gigs in Norwich but I, it's rare to go into rural East Anglia and it's rare to go into sort of rural Kent. I love making work that can travel anywhere and you take it to places that weren't expecting it and the, and the response you get is so amazing. Everybody comes up and chats to you afterwards and everybody shares their stories with you and you just don't get that in a normal theatre. It's important not just for the audiences but for theatre itself to actually go amongst the people, which is where it all started and where it belongs. It was absolutely fabulous. And he's unique, this is unique. I'll definitely come again. The In Crowd's commissioning opportunities are so important to artists. And really the difference between a show being made and not being made, and to that work actually ever being seen by audiences. I've done 10 shows now um, and Kiss Me Help I Hate You, my show um, was actually commissioned specifically by InCrowd to tour around uh, rural pubs. So it's set in a rural pub, it's designed to be performed in a rural pub. The reaction's just been really, really fantastic. We've also worked with Pub is a Hub and they're a national charity that offer advice to rural pubs about how they can develop and attract customers they might not normally attract. I noticed in our local pub there are lots of new people here tonight which is a good thing for the pub and a good thing for the show. Things like tonight, you can see, can't you, how many people that's brought in, how many people have enjoyed it. And uh, although we come in quite regularly, I wouldn't have normally come in on a Wednesday. So uh, it's, it's introducing other people to the pub. Did you know that 14 pubs in the UK close every week? That's two every day. Pubs used to be our community hubs, they were our community centres. It's where you went to find out who could plaster your wall, who could fix your drains. And now it's kind of lost that a little bit. So we still know the pub has that community thing and this is a great way of, of finding that again. Hello, uh, thanks for turning out. Many more people live in rural, semi-rural and suburban places than they do in big cities. We really want to champion the flexibility of live literature and performance as an art form and how it can tell stories about contemporary life in the most rural or semi-rural of settings. I'm a travelling poet, uh, you know, I, there have been people like me telling stories and trying to you know, reflect life back at people in, in communal spaces for thousands of years going into pubs and doing any kind of rural tour and really kind of reconnects what we do to what, why it was a good idea in the first place. InCrowd has allowed us to work with loads of artists, not in small ways, in really big ways, by actually developing completely brand new, whole, ready, hour-long shows. It would be incredibly difficult for me to get my work out to rural communities just on a cost basis. Communities, by their very nature, small isolated communities, you need a Pied Piper figure, you need somebody to, to introduce you and say this is okay. 
most performers don't have that and it takes a long time to build those relationships so in crowd bridges that gap for us in crowd will take brand new commissioned work across the southeast and southwest and beyond and we're really looking forward to the community experience that rural touring can offer